So, this is another video in the series that I'm doing about the J Series Honda V6 head. The reason I had to do this is because my water pump was making a noise and I figured I could milk it for a little bit longer. And in the end, it actually ended up seizing up. Well, it didn't actually seize, but I, got, I think it got really hot and seized and then shredded the timing belt. So I had to pull both heads. Here's the timing belt. It shouldn't look like that at all. It's all messed up. Teeth are gone, ripped in half. It's bad stuff there. Took this to the machine shop and uh, some of the valves were bent and they actually had to remove all of them to test them because they spin them on a high speed machine. That shows them whether the, uh, that shows them whether the valve is good or not. So when I took it to the machine shop, they actually had to take some of the stuff off. There's a cover that goes there which is this cover right here. And I have the bolt for the camshaft pulley. Here are all the valves that were bad. Here's the camshaft pulley. It's actually keyed, so it can only go in one way. And I have brackets here that I actually had left on. It's, this is part of the wiring harness that sits on the back side of the head, closest towards the firewall on the passenger side. These seals are pretty hard to get to with the head on the engine, so I went ahead and I went to Honda and bought the seals. It's a camshaft seal. Here's a camshaft seal. Part number is 91213 R is in Romeo, K is in Kilo, G is in Gram, 003. And then here's the O ring for this side right here, which is right inside there. So if I'm going this far deep into it, I'm actually going to replace these seals. This seal, part number, Honda part number is 913. 301-Paul8Apple-Apple00. Okay, so cut this open. Just make sure you don't cut the seal when you open it up. And the next thing I will do, get this old one off. Found this pick. Go ahead, pick the old one out. Be careful not to mar the aluminum. Oh yeah, that thing's rock hard. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna see if it's keyed, actually. If there's one way that this thing goes on. Yeah, so it is keyed, it only goes in one way, so it's kinda of hard to screw it up. Okay, so I got my new O-ring here. Make sure that's flat. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna get a little bit of grease here. I have some Mobile One grease that I'm gonna be using. Take the grease, run it around the O-ring, cause it's gonna help slide it in. You don't want this, what you're trying to prevent is from this O-ring from rolling over on itself. So if you don't have grease, you can use oil. Because if you don't get this right, you're going to have an oil leak here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's seated. I don't think Bundy's Garage is as popular as it could be on YouTube. So if you guys have found this video helpful, it would be really, be really nice if you guys could share it on your social media platform. Be that Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Just get the word out there that I'm trying to show people how to fix their cars by themselves and save themselves some money. So if you guys can share me on your social media, that would be great. Start my bolts. If those are kind of hard to get in, go ahead and rotate this a little bit to get some uh, to ease up the tension on the bolt itself. If you're going this far into it, go ahead and replace the seals with new ones. Don't run the risk of having an oil leak because you didn't want to spend the money on $2 seals. Actually, all four seals ended up costing me about 22 bucks. That was from a Honda dealership. You can find them cheaper online, probably. Um, a good place to start would be Honda Parts Unlimited. Uh, Honda Parts Unlimited. Com. Be very careful when you're handling the cylinder head. It's very sharp and can cut you. So, so the goal here is just to fish this old one out. Again, try not to mar the surface. Go ahead, bring in some grease. I'm gonna put it on the inner, on the camshaft itself. Bring my seal in. Get some grease on the inner seal right here. I want you to get a side view of this so it's a little bit easier to see. Try to get this started as, as flat and level as possible. And if the old seal isn't damaged too much, you can actually use that to help guide it in. Or a big socket. I'm just pushing with my hands here. I'm trying to make sure I do it all evenly at once. Here's the old one. You can use the flat face right here. 
go. And just push it into place. <clears throat> okay, so I did, in the end I took the old O-ring, old camshaft gasket, took an old valve stem, and just pushed it here with the flat part until this inner ring was level with the end of the camshaft. So you can see kind of right there. Then uh, take your finger. Feels pretty good right there. Okay. So next is to bring in the cover. There's only one way that this will go on. So this is the wiring harness. Or there's some electrical connectors in the back corner, and that's the uh, that's the bracket form. So I got to put that on first. Snug this up. Bring in our other two bolts. Okay, go ahead and 12 millimeters. Tighten those down. Don't have to be Superman. Just snug it down. Okay, now you can bring in your camshaft gear. There's only one way this goes. It's keyed right here. Right there it's keyed and there's a key right here. So you go ahead and... That's it. Bring your bolt. You have, if you have an impact, awesome. Just snug it down with your impact. If not, just tighten it up with your wrench and socket and there you go. So, there you go guys. Just wanna show you what's all involved when you're putting the head back on in the final stages of putting this head back on and then uh, hopefully have this van up and running. Not hopefully, I know I'll get this van up and running. If you have found this video helpful or any of my videos helpful, please consider subscribing to Bundy's Garage on YouTube. Questions, comments, concerns, you can always reach out to me at bundysgarage at gmail.com. You can follow me on Twitter. And like always, I'll keep them rolling for you. I don't know if you can see that or not, but right inside here there's a spring on the inside, on this inner one here that squeezes down onto the camshaft when it's actually in place.